guys, welcome to Drinks Undressed. This week we're gonna show you a beautiful little drink um, known as a gimlet. Basically just two components make up this drink. You need an ice cold gin. I'm using a local gin right here, it's called Tempo Renovo. I'm gonna also show you how, some, how simple and easy and effective it is to make your own lime cordial, which can be used in a whole host of drinks, alcoholic or otherwise. So we're gonna try and process as much lime flavor as we possibly can from our limes. Now what you'll find is a lot of flavor is found in the skin of the fruits, especially when it comes to citrus. Straight in there, as easy as that. As easy as you like, potato peeler, zest off. We're going to juice, not straight into the pan. We're gonna save the juice. We don't wanna cook the juice because it's quite delicate. So we're gonna save that till later. We'll add that into our syrup once it's cooled off. Once you've juiced out all of these shells, throw those in as well. Waste not, want not is the key. Three limes in there, we've got our juice. We're essentially just flavoring a simple syrup here. And then what we're gonna do, we're going to sugar them down, one part sugar, and we'll also do one part of water. Straight in there. As I said, we really want to extract the most from the lime. We've got here, we've got lime leaves. These things are used by flavorists, you know, around the world to create what we think of as a lime flavor. So if you, you know, for example, if you're eating candies or sweets, like Skittles, and you get the lime one, you pick out the lime one, it's your favorite, and you eat that, you'll probably, the chances are you're going to be tasting a lot of kefir lime because this is what, this is what really has that limey, limey flavor. I'm just going to rip these guys up a little bit and just stir that in. And the beautiful thing about cafe lime leaves, apart from the fact they're such a beautiful ingredient to work with, is that they're becoming more and more readily available. It used to be that you had to really go and, you know, off on a little wild goose chase to try and find these in the Asian supermarkets and what have you, grocery stores. But now, more and more often I see them cropping up in regular supermarkets uh, all, over, all over the country. So, uh, you know, Bob's your uncle, you'll probably find them quite, readily, quite easily. This has been a rendering down now for about five, six minutes. It's already taking on colour. Smells great. Got a really, really complete lime flavor here, which is what we're looking for. So it looks fantastic. It's gonna work so well with gin as well. Bringing those botanicals to life and just dancing around with the, with the wonderful things that go on in gin already. Just gonna scoop out the main chunks here. And you can actually scatter these all over your garden. It stops the cats coming in and crapping on your, <laughs> your flower beds. Yeah, they really don't like citrus. So, uh, you know, there's always a use for everything. I wasn't expecting it to look quite that good, but it looks amazing. The color on there is awesome. And then once you've allowed that syrup to cool down, so it's not scorching, scorching hot, and then we're just gonna strain the juice that we pulled out of those uh, lovely limes earlier. And it's so easy to do, that's the, that's, the, that's the thing about it, you know? You can make this so easily at home and it's fun. That's the beautiful thing about it, is that you can have fun doing it. You know, get your friends around make some cocktails and it's something you can talk about Monday morning at work. What did you do on the weekend? We made cocktails from scratch. We made our own lime cordial and we got drunk on gin. <laughs> Give that the little taste test. That's so good. It's got a nice amount of sharpness in it as well from the fresh juice. When you make your drink, it's not gonna be just overpowered with sugar. So today we're gonna use our homemade shaker but we're gonna use it as a mixing glass. Fill that right to the top, nice big ice cubes. And we're gonna want a gentleman's pour, double measure there or a triple, depending on how big your glass is. So this is actually quite a balanced syrup. You could just drink, you could just drink this on its own with soda and it would be perfect. So you can use as much or as little as you desire. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna put in four tablespoons, which is about 20 mLs. And then we're just gonna stir that. You, know, you can always tell when your drink's ready because if you, you just hold the outside of the glass, you'll feel the temperature that you're wanting. Little taste. Oh, that is good. It's beautiful. It's perfectly balanced because the syrup that we've made, the cordial that we've made is gorgeous. And we're just going to strain that out into our glass. Get that nicely chilled coupe. Exactly what you want. On a nice hot day or after a stressful day at the office, come back and just enjoy the simplicity. The simplicity of this cocktail. Squeeze the oils across the top there. Edge of the glass. Look at that. And a little twist. Twist and pull, and then in she goes. Your homemade lime cordial 
using the whole lime, the juice, the pith, the zest, the leaf. Straight in there, good as gold. Keeps for six weeks. Mix it with gin or vodka. You could even mix it with rum. And there you go, stir it down nice and cold and you've got yourself a beautiful gimlet. Cheers, folks.